So in general, I would say we're actually in a very decent shape. There's no doubt that we're investing significantly right now in making sure that we don't get taken advantage of in, in the money laundering. We are investing heavily in our compliance areas and really upgrading our defenses towards fight, fighting financial crime. So that's where a lot of the cost drivers that you are seeing in our results are coming from. But we think this is the right thing to do uh, given where we have been uh, in the past. Um, in general, you can say the momentum in, in our Danish uh, business is a little bit weaker than what we had uh, hoped for. But we do see the momentum, especially in our Sweden and Norwegian uh, area, actually be quite, uh, quite good. We're seeing a significant growth in our lending, especially in Norway with our partnership agreement. So overall, I would say it's, uh, it's, it's fairly good with the momentum in the Nordics. And in Denmark, we are having a little bit more of a, a struggle. Kristin, I want to ask you about one of the other challenges away from the money laundering scandal. Investors have also questioned whether fee income is going to be challenged at your bank because the, the latest issue has been on overcharging retail clients for investment products. And this was seen by many European banks as a way to get around the negative interest rate environment and to actually make some money. Do you see fees being compressed down the track now because of regulator uh, issues with the charging? I think in overall, you can say running a bank now is more costly than it was uh, years ago. Uh, increased compliance, co uh, increased regulatory costs, both on the capital side, but also on, on the things we need to do and the new kind of uh, directives that are coming out are increasing the overall cost of running a bank. Finding the right balance in a low margin environment to actually run a bank efficiently, but also at the same time be able to make profit uh, and actually have c competitive products is a, is a balance that the winners of the banks tomorrow will need to strike. And when we're talking about, we'll be coming back with some of the initiatives that we want to make in order to get to that place. That is something we will come back to and revert with at the end of the year. But it, back to your question, I think in general, we need to find the right ways of actually not just pushing the cost over to the customers, but actually be more efficient in the way that we actually implement our compliance and our regulatory uh, environments. Hi, I'm Joanna Bersacci and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.